界定艺术的话，任何东西都可以界定成艺术。这样的话，做那些东西的人，就是应该可以被我看作是艺术家。我不愿意给自个儿贴标签，自个儿是艺术家还是一个设计师。我可能就单纯愿意叫我自个儿木匠，因为这部分可能更多的是一点儿开玩笑的，或者是比较跳脱的一,一种叫法。因为，我可能也还在寻找我自个儿吧。When I first started working, it could be the whole new area for me. For sure, it's of course the cultural and the language itself. The whole undergraduate studying or in general, every part of my studies not involved with the, the use your hand to build up something. Even my undergraduate major is called uh, wood science and technology, furniture design and manufacturing. But the only thing I do is uh, sit around the computer to do the computer, de computer design, but not use your real hand to build up something. So that's also the, the main reason I try to apply uh, school in American and uh, learning working. Because for me, it's like if you don't know how to build up stuff, you, to, you don't really put your hands on the real material, you cannot design stuff. This one is made in the second year of my uh, graduate study and it's assignment for reliquary. Okay, I need to build up a reliquary, so I need to find what is my relic. So the reliquary is a preservation, uh, something stuff to hold, hold the relics and uh, for me also sh rep, uh, display the relics. So here, this one Functional wise is a desk. You can sit around and do the stamp collection. You can put your stamps and some chisel and magnify in the drawer to sit around to go through your stamps. That's a functional. And for me, it got more meanings because my relics is my memory I share with my grandfather. He like got huge collection of stamps and they show me a lot in my childhood so that's a very good memory for me and also i want to build a reliquary not to just hold the stamps or my memory kind of like make it real so i make it got some interaction with the user so you can really use it not just holding or preserve the stuff My thesis design is inspired by Chinese calligraphy. I want to honor my Chinese heritage, culture size, so I start with the, the coffee table and pick up one uh, Chinese character, the home, jia, and I use the, the seal script. So I pick up the, the upper part of the character and uh, this area, the hollow part, is the upper part of the character, just and it could be separated and uh, come together as a whole piece. These two are my second piece for the thesis design. And also I pick one character difference and use parts of it and integrate to the side view. This part is a character. So I'm digging into the, the meaning into Chinese and uh, also Western, or you can say Oriental and Western culture. What, what is home? Standard Chinese home is three person, parents and child. I put them into three pieces. They are all individuals as the three parts of my coffee table, but they come together to create or get a home. 
that's what I'm thinking about home. This is my story furniture. <laughs> 木头现在的话对我来说，它是还是可能停留在一个材料的层面。如果是因为我有这个技能，我有这个想法，我接受了这些一连串的训练，我可以把它从一个 rough 的状态，一个粗糙的原始的状态，变化出不断呃新的东西。所以，它是我最熟悉的材料，我愿意使用它，也喜欢使用它来表达我的想法或者来做任何东西